Hello everybody, welcome back to Shattered Planet. It's time for episode two here, and as we left off, we had entered our ship after our first, well, really our first actual run that we had gotten through, and it ended up with an unfortunate encounter with an unidentified liquid that resulted in me spontaneously combusting, which was really unlucky, but, uh, and, uh, well, as an unfortunate side effect of that, of that as well, we lost a couple of really nice items, but as I did take the precautions in creating a whole bunch bunch of stuff for us to be able to continue to go on without being completely defenseless. We shouldn't be in too dire of straits here. In fact, we're actually going to get a reward here by way of unlocking the uh, research level one. So let's see what we just got from the, uh, you know, the, the main correspondence for us. This is the Crystallobot, which gives us a vending machine on board the ship, which is actually quite useful. In fact, I'm going to show off what that really means for us right here as we w wander over this way. We now have the option of buying a few of these little consumables before we trek off into our adventure. And uh, that's usually a pretty damn good idea considering the juice boxes, the uh, grenades, and all the different kind of stuff we can acquire from the Crystallobot can really uh, prove to be quite the lifesaver as time goes on here. I'm actually going to pick up just three juice boxes and then maybe just one grenade. Because uh, I would like to save as many crystals as I possibly can. I'd really like to start configuring some high level equipment and get going as far as that's concerned. Uh, I'll take up another grenade from the inventory as well, so hopefully we can put those to actual use before we end up dying in this particular run as well. Uh, I'm going to bring the guitar along with us, I think. Just having a different weapon can uh, be pretty helpful, and I think I've already spent all my training points. So yeah, without further ado, it's time to venture off as uh, Bear Taffy number three, I believe, in the official sense of the, of the uh, term. And uh, let's go ahead and get back down to explorer mode and see how far... We can make it along in our second official mission. There's no telling what is waiting for you up ahead. I hope it's cake and ice cream. I do too. Probably not though. So uh, as you might have figured out, we start off again, as I mentioned, with the uh, the trait here. And uh, I know a couple people were thinking, like, that's kind of an interesting mechanic that it doesn't really give you any benefit beyond the initial, uh, you know, help that it provides you. Like, it, it would make more sense if some of the classes held, you know, kind of a permanent attribute as opposed to just these beginning bonuses. And I kind of agree with you in that respect. It, it's very odd to me, too, that uh, this class bonus kind of is outweighed by the fact that it just doesn't last for very long. In fact, you get rid of it almost all the time within your exploration of the first world, which, you know, it doesn't really make a lot of sense considering you could give certain classes a lot more you know lucrative bonuses if you just made it last a little while longer so it's very interesting to me uh, I agree with that little uh, concern the golden bottle here now I'm, I'm starting to take a different approach to these bottles I'm, I'm beginning to think it's better for me to try to throw the bottle as opposed to using it immediately because uh, it's good to figure out the bonuses and or problems they can cause beforehand. So I'm going to go ahead and start using that uh, approach for the foreseeable future, I imagine. Now we have the option here of ashes to ashes. We can either fuel the fire or scavenge it. I'm going to go ahead and try to scavenge it this time. We'll get another skill check here, which I'll probably fail. Oh, we got a success. Nice. Uh, we got a gift box from that. Very nice. Contains some stra scrap in a small item. Oh, I'm getting hit by this guy. Apparently he does not like that I... Uh, Poisoned the ground below him, so maybe we'll have to deal some combat damage here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to let him get poisoned as much as possible before I uh, deal anything myself. In fact, he might just die off. There we go. That saves me the trouble. Local mutant with an assignment to guard territory prefers hand to hand combat, so I've luckily avoided any kind of damage that way. And we also picked up an allergen gun as a result, dealing chemical damage. That should be very convenient, actually. We can pick up quite a few things as we move through our. Uh, our exploration here it's the limited inventory I believe only takes place on board the ship which uh, you know helps so you can't really take everything along with you for the ride this is also an on-the-planet scrap bot it's something that I passed up earlier on in the uh, first run that's simply because usually the things that we find here are quite expensive but we don't happen to have that much scrap metal on board yet so uh, we'll have to save those for a rainy day I suppose and, uh, oh goodness, alright, now we've got maybe a bit of a problem here. I'm gonna try to use the, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have a chance to use the allergen gun. I might just take a huge heaping amount of damage from these guys, so we'll probably have to use a couple juice boxes here as we get through. Oh, this guy lights me on fire. Yeah, that's right. That is, um, that is not fun. Yeah, I'm gonna take a lot of damage from this guy, the fire carrier mutant. He is, uh, 
he proves problematic from time to time. I have to wait out this scorching and also wait out the effect on this tile so I don't get scorched again. As you can see there, it just burned out after a little while of waiting and uh, now we're safe to move across, but it is dangerous to try to tread those tiles beforehand. Uh, we got another fire carry over here. In fact, I'm going to try to throw a grenade in this area if I can. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to just yet, but uh, let's see. Actually, I should open this gift box as well before I do anything else. Uh, not designed for human physiology. Oh, well, that kind of sucks for me. I don't know if that's going to help me out very much. I could try it, but I, I doubt my odds of success. Uh, I also need to somehow cancel this throw. I don't know really. Okay, there we go. Got it. Figured it out. There are a lot of enemies over here. This is starting to concern me quite a bit. I think I'm just going to try to avoid the fire carrier if at all possible. We got a bunch of scrap metal from this expedition already, so this is looking good for me. I might even go back to that scrap pot and see if I can't uh, find a way to make that money w worthwhile. I'm going to see if I can throw this here now. I should be able to take this guy out before he deals too much damage to me. That grenade is very, very effective. Uh, I should just be able to shoot him as well if I can just hit him with the poison here. There we go. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that worked out quite well. That was a tribal chief, actually. That wasn't even a fire slinger, so that works out well for me, too. There's some more scrap metal. Let's go ahead and explore the rest of this little portion here, and then I believe that is the entirety of Distance 1. I'm going to take a couple of juice boxes here just to heal up a little bit, and I'm terrified of that magic crab sugar. I'm pretty sure it's not anything I want to mess with. So uh, let's hold off on that for now, and I'm not taking my third juice box at the moment because I like to hold off uh, hoping that there could be... I don't know why I went this way. Hoping that there could be an identified liquid that could, uh, or an unidentified liquid, rather, that could potentially help me out and, uh, get me healed up. I think I might have to wander through the blight here. I'm not sure where the, uh, path is trying to take me. I don't know if I've gone, yeah, I, I might need to be wandering through the blight. This could be a very dangerous situation for me here. I might die on distance one, considering I didn't go the correct direction, so this is potentially dangerous. As a blight carrier, we are already reaching three-star enemies, and I am in dire straits at the moment. So this, this is very concerning. I am walking through the blight and dying as a result. I'm pretty sure this is going to end in tragedy for me. Yeah, we're done. Heart of Darkness achievement unlocked at least. Here lies lucky newbie Bear Taffy, who was flammable as an old Christmas tree. I did not do so hot in that particular run, but... We did get quite a bit of scrap metal and crystal in the first distance, so that works out okay for me. Let's go ahead and get a couple of upgrades to our strength, maybe a bit of a health. Actually, no, that's going to be all we can do there. But we can equip ourselves with much better items this time around. I should get exactly enough. Hopefully I get a helm here. Indeed we did. Applies Blight Resist, which will be very good in case I get into that situation again. This is a five-star helm right here, which is great. And hopefully we get a weapon from this synthesis right here. Oh, nice. A rusty machete. Which applies Harvester and is stained with Wild Sap. That would be, uh, quite nice. Harvester is an effect, I believe, which, uh, gives us... Let's see if we can look at the benefits of that. I think if we go to our little equipment log here, we should be able to see in more detail what that actually means. So I think I need to scroll all the way down if I can get my mouse there. There we are. Let's see where that rusty machete actually ended up. I don't know if this is in, like, alphabetical order or something. Harvester, I am pretty sure, applied some kind of damage over time effect. I don't remember exactly how to get to where that should... Oh, wait, there it is, yeah. You can destroy reeds and mushrooms to find out... Oh, yeah, okay, so that's completely different from what I thought it was. You can destroy reeds and mushrooms with your Harvester to find out what's inside. Very good. All right. So I have five crystals left over. I'm going to say it's a good idea to see if I can get a juice box. Unfortunately, I can't afford it. Bandages are on sale, but I don't have quite enough for that either. I'm going to have to rely on the uh, really good equipment I have to get us quite a ways through and uh, hope that I don't have any horrible problems here. My calculations say that you can make it to at least distance three. I hope they're right. So do I, my friend. So do I. Okay. The other thing I should keep in mind is the fact that if we find an explosive uh, liquid, as a commenter mentioned, and I fail to remember your name, and I apologize for that, but uh, if we find an explosive liquid, we'll be able to uh, seal off the blight directly from the entrance, preventing it from spreading and allowing us freedom to explore the entire distance without the uh, ever-looming threat of the blight taking over the area. So we'll have to keep that in mind if I happen to find the explosive liquid uh, at some point in this playthrough. And I'm not dealing as much damage as I was hoping I would, but I should be okay uh, regardless. My equipment is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. See what we can maybe pick up here. The multi axe could be pretty rad, but I think I'd go with the mystery crate if I get the option to uh, 
spend 50 scrap metal on that particular box. We found the teleporter now, which is fantastic. Again, it's always good to find that early on. A 52 damage critical strike is awesome. Just some crablets here to deal with, not a big threat. I'm getting a bit more scrap metal as well. We're not getting quite enough to do what we wanted to do. That's the two-tone bottle. No, that's the rose bottle, rather. It's quite beautiful. All right, that was a minor explosive, so I'm really glad I didn't take that one either. I'm really down with this whole new approach to the, uh, the unidentified liquids. I want to make sure that I know what they are before I do anything to myself, because I could potentially ruin a run really early by doing that. I think this is the entirety of this distance, which is kind of disappointing, but nonetheless, time to move off to distance two after having a fairly uneventful distance one of 451 square meters explored. Let's keep moving forward. A bit more scrap metal there as well. I'm hoping to find a uh, an event here. I'd like to unlock some more of those data entries within the codex. I, I have failed to really recognize what this should actually be called. I think it wants me to give my, give my own name to it. Let's call it the, uh, the, the Magnificent Encyclopedia of Infinite Knowledge. Or the, uh, the M-I-E-K, the, the mic. Oh, man, that's, <laughs> that's not bad. I'm actually kind of happy with that. That was just kind of spur of the moment thing. I like it. Oh, hey, we can destroy this stuff, can't we? Oh, no, maybe just grass. I think that's what our harvester perk gives us. So that could save us some time and exp exploration. If we are able to uh, destroy some of the obstacles in our way. I think this is an egg set. Yes, indeed. Uh, pick that up. Something inside squirms for freedom. I might be able to actually acquire a, uh, a little crablet buddy there. I hope I can kill this guy without too much issue. Oh, God. He is hurting me quite a bit. Holy shit. That guy is scary. All right. Let's see what we can do here. We can use this. Oh, yeah. That was not a good plan. Okay. I wonder if I just, like, let that hatch if it will imprint upon me. That's happened before. Hopefully that might be the case for the future. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one as well, because I'm terrified. That is a minor explosive. I don't know what exactly it was, but... Oh man, this is another egg sack. I don't know if I'm prepared to deal with this, man. Although there is an event over there. Let's see, uh, tell you what. I'm gonna try this out. Uh-oh. What did I just do? Oh, shoot. That might have been a mistake. Oh, this worries me. I want to get to this event. I am terrified of all these crablets, though. I think we should be okay, as long as I don't destroy the egg sack. All right. Adopt. There we go. We got an imprinted hatchling. That's awesome. That's very, very, very helpful. And there's another new discovery of the latchkey kit as well. We could kill the egg sack. It's a potential uh, possibility, but again, I am quite terrified of it. Let's go ahead and throw this one as well. Learning about all these different bottles. Oh, that is a, uh, that's a wit upgrade, it looks like. We'll throw this one as well, and maybe it'll create a damaging effect. Th I just gave him a st stat boost. That's kind of crappy for me. Let's see if I can keep my imprinted hatchling alive long enough for him to be helpful. Uh, that should just about do it, actually, for this particular area. I'm in dire straits right now. I gotta remember where the teleporter is as well. It's over this way. Uh, yeah, I am, uh, I'm not totally stoked on my current condition health-wise, so hopefully, uh, we'll make it to distance three here, which is always good. It's a nice little perk to be able to make it to distance three, because then we actually start acquiring crystal bonus, de depending on how far we get from here. I hope you don't have a mushroom allergy. There's spores all over the place on this planet. Oh, goodness. Luckily, we have, oh my god, a juice box out of nowhere. That is super helpful. Luckily, we have the Harvester perk, which allows us to cut our way through spores, so we'll be able to t put that to full effect. And uh, there is the uh, example of that. We can actually destroy some grass and maybe even get some scrap metal out of it as a result, so that is probably something I should be taking fuller advantage of here. It's more than likely uh, the entire point of having a weapon like this, because it is five stars, so you would think it would have a really good bonus for any kind of playthrough here. All right, there we go. More crablets defeated. Let's see if I can get some more scrap metal. No luck. I'm going to be able to kill this guy, though, easily enough. Bam, bam, bam. Then there's some more scrap metal up this way as well. It's going pretty well. I'm pretty happy with this. If I can get up to 50 crystals again, I'd be really stoked on a new run coming up after this one. Of course, we want to try to stay alive as much as we, uh, or as long as we can, rather. I don't know why I just waited there. That was kind of dumb. How much damage are we actually taking from these guys? I don't think it's that much. We're going to be uh, just fine. There's some more crystal for us. Uh, you know what? I might try... I'll keep on that x for now. I might try to kill this thing and uh, just let my imprinted hatchling do the majority of the work here. Unless he doesn't really seem to care that I exist, which could be the case. I might be able to just avoid him for the entirety of the mission. Oh my god, another x though. That's bad. 
That's bad news. All right, he's gonna get killed. Oh yeah, he's uh, he's seen better days. This is dangerous. This is real bad. There we go. All right, that got uh, that got a bit better as time went on. I'm still in a uh, very bad shape. There are a lot of X acts we're coming across, and I'm not really a huge fan of it. Oh man, this is a lot of grapplers here as well. All right, let's see if I can survive this. They really don't deal that much damage, but when they swarm up like that, it is potentially harmful. All right, there we go. I am still not in great shape. Let's see if I can find something I've already uh, learned about. A toxic slime could help us out just by destroying this stuff. So let's get rid of that. Uh, let's see what that does for me. This is liquid power. Causes every strike to do ele uh, extra electric damage, which could help me out too. There we go. We took care of him. Finally able to use this key card we acquired early on. We got some more scrap metal as a result of that, and doesn't look like much else, which is, you know, it's all right. We occasionally run into traps over here on the uh, other side of the bridge when you uh, happen to take care of it with a key card, so could be worse. Large creatures roaring echoes from nearby. Did you get too close to the egg? I'll try to steal it. See what we can get here. Got a successful stat check. Found in the wilderness edible, but maybe it will hatch. Your hard work has paid off. The Galactic Union has set you a pet clone vet. Hooray! We can now uh, bring a loving companion with me into the Perilous World and also capture new pets with the DNA extractor gun that we actually do have to purchase uh, in the uh, in the vendor bot on the ship. Oh, that was bad. Oh, I'm screwed. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, this sucks. I got right back into a corner. That was a uh, that was a terrible mistake I just made. I'm gonna try to throw this at him. That did not do anything. All right, I am more than likely dead here. Um, shit. Yep, that's the run. That was a bad decision right there. I am a dumb, dumb guy. Just backed myself right into a corner. I probably could have evaded that thing, but sadly I was not quick enough. All right, so we're uh, first of all going to pick up the uh, DNA extractor gun right here and uh, hopefully acquire some more pets in the process. I'll pick up a couple of uh, explosives as well. It seems like a decent enough idea. And uh, then I have enough to create a silver grade weapon for myself, and then we might have to just make up a few more crappy things. This is actually a happy bot helm. Hey, this is kind of a uh, this is kind of a tower of guns. Nod, maybe, probably not. I have no idea, but I like to believe. I like to believe people are friends. Uh, let's see. I've got some decent weapons here. I might just take some bone claws or something. I'm not. I'm not entirely opposed to that. I might find some new weapons here though, so I think it's maybe worth a shot. To breed up some more bronze level stuff. A bandana! Radical! Hooray! What else can we get? A solar, solar shield array is not going to help me out very much. And the progenitor implants are actually a very interesting one. Let's see if I can just maybe even create a few more new things and potentially get another reward from the, uh, from the Galactic Empire. A copper blade! You know what? I'll take that. We'll go with that. We'll call it good. We got a few more stat upgrades to get as well. I'm gonna go for a bit more strength. I think that's gonna serve me the best out of any of these upgrades. And there's the health upgrade as well. And I could also bring a pet down with me if I have enough crystal. And I do for him, I think. Yeah, I've got nine. What about this guy? Eight. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. There we go. So now we have a hatchling that I can bring down with me. I can actually deploy him whenever I want, which is pretty helpful because I could probably just go on my own for a little while and then hope that I can bring him on later. All right, let's do the last run of the episode here. Let's hope that it goes a lot better than the previous ones have. Good luck, Captain. I'll be watching from here doing important, you know, science, science stuff. Doing those things. That's what I do on the ship. Very important. Zek is very critical. Don't let him go. Ooh, yes, we got a shovel. All right, we've got that before. I'm actually kind of curious just to use this, so I'm going to try it out. See what we can find here. From orbit. We've got an achievement. I don't want to jump there. That seems like a silly thing to do, but apparently you just dig that and then it goes away. It's very odd. It does have a cooldown as well, so we can use it over and over again, but I don't really know what the benefit of that is. I'm sure it'll pop up at some point what we can really use that for, but for now I don't really know. I'm sure we'll find out. Uh, going down here again, more scrap metal is always good. This weapon sucks balls compared to our last one, unfortunately, but we'll make do. There we go. Juice box is good to have. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Don't quite want to use my hatchling yet. It might be good for this area. But, uh, oh wow, yeah, I'm starting to, uh, box myself into a corner again. Here we go, we're fine. 
Still not taking too much damage from these guys. Actually, the, uh, the Happy Bot Helm is applying a physical resistance, which is probably helping us with the Gravelets as well. We found the teleporter. We're looking good. We're just going to keep exploring around this area. I'm going to go this way, actually, and hope that we can find where to use the key card. And there it is. Let's see what we got inside of this guy as well. Another shovel and a mystery crate. If we happen to find 16 more metal scrap in this area, I might go ahead for that mystery crate and see what we can do with it. Uh, let's see what we can find out about these unidentified liquids as well. We're going to go bada bing bada boom. And uh, nice, that's a stat upgrade. I might want to pay attention to the distance available for throwing the liquids because I think that has an indication of what they actually provide for me. So I should be uh, cautious about that. Hopefully I can learn some stuff as we go. Okay. I think we're good to go, man. I think we're ready to teleport. Let's just make sure I'm not missing any uh, exploration here, and uh, we should be all right. So I've got a juice box. I've got my DNA extractor gun, which I should be trying to use a little bit more. Uh, I don't think I want to deal with this guy, so hopefully he just walks away. There we go. Just kind of wandering around with this dude. A lot of the uh, tribal dudes don't actually want to deal with you. They just kind of want to wander around and be uh, aimless creatures. Nest hatchling, very nice. I'm not sure if those are supposed to represent, like, uh, blight-infested human beings. That could be the case, but, uh, I don't know 100% on that. Let's see what we found here. Uh, an unidentified rose bottle. Let's go ahead and throw that away. That is a stat upgrade. I am going to try again to pay attention to the, uh, throw distance. So, it looks like some of them are different. I have no idea what that one was. So, we found, uh, something that requires a key card. Let's go see if we can find that. Some more scrap metal. There you are. Beautiful little thing, and luckily we actually can wander all the way around. Yeah, like, these guys, I don't know, they might be, like, the result of the Blight's impact on humans, but as far as I can tell, the Blight just wipes out everything and, and murders you, so... Maybe that's not the case, maybe that's just my wishful thinking for a deeper lore, but... Oh god, the Blight is starting to actually take effect already, holy shit, this could be dangerous. Might be hatchling time, yeah, let's go ahead and try this guy out. So looks like we're going to run into a few problems over here. What could this be? A small dark splotch leaps from the stump onto your arm. I'll shake. I don't really know what the difference might be. A success, despite the bad luck on the roll there. You shake it off and it seeps into the ground. The spot. Okay then. Apparently that was nothing. That's fine by me, as long as it does no negative effect, I suppose we're okay. Uh, oh man, our... Our little creature is harmonious to us. It's beautiful. Oh, hey, yeah, I don't I don't really want to deal with you. I wonder if I can just let my creature deal the bulk of the damage there. There we go. He's my little mini tank. I love it. Didn't actually find anything of uh, high value there, but the blight is quickly spreading over to us, so we do need to be careful and probably find the teleporter sooner rather than later. If the blight reaches these creatures, they actually turn into a uh, different variant, which is much more powerful, so I want to be sure I don't... Stick around to let that happen. That is a uh, flammable ingredient there, so luckily we did not ingest that one. Let's see if we can find anything of value here. Unfortunately, we are one metal scrap away from a mystery crate. That would be kind of nice to have. I'm just going to go ahead and wait out the flame here. This is going to spread all the way over to this area, so unfortunately it's going to require a lot more waiting on our part. Very, uh, very poorly timed. Oh god, he does not like what just happened here. Oh shit. This could be dangerous. I think he's angry at me for setting him on fire. I couldn't blame him. We should be able to kill him anyway, so this is... This is alright. This actually gives me a uh, another allergen gun, which is good. Oh, nice! Another reward! Research level 3 for the Warhammer! Good stuff! Yes, another allergen gun. Fantastic. We can totally use that to our advantage. Uh, this is some more metal scrap over here. We now have the 50 scrap, so I could go pick up the... Uh, the mystery crate if I really wanted to, but I'm going to go ahead and hold off on that for now. We'll use the juice box again and go off to distance three one more time and hope that we can survive for just a bit longer in this particular expedition. Nice! New discovery of new pompous in da uh, distance three here. I wonder if you'll ever see this place again. There's so many shards to see. It's uh, an indication, I don't know uh, if I've even made note of this, but the fact that, uh, of course, it is procedurally generated. Every uh, every experience is new. Every world encounter is uh, generally randomized, and uh, I really like that about it. It provides a uh, a great replayability value to it. I've actually picked this up on mobile as well recently, and I'm uh, oh god, what the hell am I doing? Oh, this is a is this a mimic? This is a mimic vendor bot. Oh damn. Okay, hold on a minute. Let's uh let's use our ranged weapons to our advantage here. 
We're going to wait off on that. He is uh, hes dealing some serious damage to us. Let's see if I can use the grenade here as well. I don't want to have to deal with him face to face. There we go. Mimic! Oh my god. Evolved alongside the scrap about to prey on its unwary customers. That is some bullshit, man. <laughs> we don't have to deal with a mimic? That's ridiculous. Alright, he is on fire. I might be able to uh, wait it out. In fact, uh, if I deal too much damage, that'll be a bad thing, because I want to try to use the DNA extractor on this guy right now. And uh, see if I can maybe get myself another little creature to carry around. There we go. Nice. The crablet has accepted your dominance and lives to protect you. Very good. So let's use him right now, because it doesn't hurt to have him around. Especially considering my uh, my general lack of health at the moment. We do have a couple more... Uh, oh, hey, hello there. What do we have here? Zuka Waka Dog. The alien murmurs. It wiggles its limbs suggestively. I'll flirt with it. You stroke its tribal max mask, its chitter strangely, and runs off. Plus three fate from the forbidden dance. Very interesting. All right, starts a fire just about anywhere. I will throw this over that way to deal with that threat. And uh, we can use the liquid power here as well and give myself a bit of a bonus to damage. Should kill him, and then we'll go like this as well. Very good. I've got to get away from this flame before it encompasses all, so let's go ahead and run away from that. My crablet buddy might be dying here, and there is no benefit to this area, which totally sucks balls. The alien from before appears in a vision, crooning an otherworldly song. It is removing its mask. Let's watch. Underneath the mask lies cosmic ancient horrors. You awaken hours later alone. Shit. Well, we're dizzy. All right, then. I have a feeling that might come back to bite me later. I like that that was like a continued effect. That's pretty interesting. Uh, unfortunately, we're pretty weak as a result of that now, though, so I might want to try to wait out the, uh, the inherent danger here. This is a very, very bad place to be now that I'm looking at this. Uh, this could probably kill me. I could use the flammable fluid over here. That's maybe not a terrible idea, actually. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's use... Oh, shit. Okay, how did I want to do this? Let's... Oh, god damn it! I accidentally just used it on myself. That was such a dumb thing. I don't think this is where I want to be anyway, and uh, I'm more than likely dead because of that horrible mistake I just made. So yeah, I am maybe just going to accept my fate here. Yep, there goes my buddy. Kind of took the bullet for me. Might be able to make it out. Let's see. I'm pretty sure this is where the teleporter is going to be. So let's see if I can just sprint for the exit here and hope for the best. Oh god, yeah, this is dangerous. Uh, this is another flammable fluid. Holy cow, we're finding a lot of these. Okay, hold on a second. Let's see if I can, uh, we'll throw this over here. See if I can take care of a couple of those threats. We'll try to kill this crablet before it does anything terrible to me. I'm gonna maneuver along. We found another, another egg sack. Oh my god, this is so bad. I am screwed. Oh god, they boxed me in. Yep, I'm gonna be toast. All right. Well, let's try all we can, I guess. And I'm dead. Ba-boom! The allergen gun has marked my demise as well. <laughs> Here lies Cosmic Wanderer, Scorched Bear Taffy, who enticed love from every species. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode of Shattered Planet. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We've got a couple more upgrades to make here now as I say my goodbyes. So thank you very much. And please leave a like if you're enjoying the video. It really does go a long way towards supporting me and what I do here on Twitch and YouTube and all that good stuff. Thank you guys for the support. My name is Bear. I'll see you next time.